Good morning everyone. I oh, hope you have your coffee this morning for today is another episode of Let's Play Adventure Quest Worlds Return of the Devs. Uh, it just so happens in the last video the aliens quest was taking quite a while and I decided to finish up that quest at off cam off camera and read it for all of you before I turned it in, so here we go. Arctic says, Whew! That was close. Did you notice there were there are two distinctly different types of aliens and an evil computer involved in this takeover? Is it possible they know what the secret cargo in the hall is? Secret cargo what? Do not open space door codes. Arctic says do you see a door that says, do not open? We need to open it. The code to open the door will split up and give, worse, was split up and given to five crewmen. You will have to battle the undead cyborgs and find all five pieces of the, spa of the space door code. Oh. You mean these guys? And I should probably, I should have switched to my warrior. Let's do that real quick. And turn on the music. No, I will not be and again, no, I will not be using any overlay music. Not yet. Or if unless the in-game music is rather dull and boring, but I kind of like this. Eh. Which one of you undead space people, skeletons, zombies has has the code? There's one code. Got four more. code but scrap I'm going to open the store. Oh, I need the. Oh, yeah. Remains locked. Wait, why can't I just do this? Why didn't I can't? Why didn't I just do this instead of wait for the bloody thing to spawn? Oh, I had a brain fart moment there. Of uh, going back into my old habits. Killing a mob, low-level mob, and waiting for it to spawn. There we go. Arak says, Awesome! You should be able to enter the door that says, Do not open now. We did not really need to do this, but seriously, how could we pass up a door that says, Do not open? Well, now I want to know what is in that door. 
So let's take a hiatus from questing and see what's behind it. <laughs> oh dear Christ! Oh dear Christ! Yeah. No. 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 Please tell me there's no mission for this. I hope there isn't. There probably isn't, but I hope. Oh, thank God. Alex says, head to the mess hall. You should see a bunch of chairs and tables there. Try to find some space balls. We can't test them. To s we can test them to see if they were contaminated with anything that would have caused the crew to get space madness. To the Do I just have to kill these guys? Because I see chairs, and I see tables, but I think are tables. Maybe. I do. Oh, okay, yeah, just these guys. Thank goodness, all these guys are dead. Otherwise, we may have to... Carve... Spoon... Out someone's eye with a spork. Ardex says, Good work! Just as I suspected, the space, the space sporks have traces of tainted food that would have caused space madness. The plot thickens. On to the next room! Alex says, you are getting close to the command bridge. The enemy forces will be strongest here. Defeat seven Vedrexes, three undead space marines, three undead space warriors, and three space hawks. Music back on. I guess we can start with the Marines and Warriors. That was a Ranger, that was not a Warrior or a Marine. Whoopsie! Back to our oracle and take care of those aliens. Or we can save them for last. Pending. Pending. Oh, I did not have enough mana. Whoopsie! I thought I did. Let's regain some mana and heal ourselves in the process. Oops. 
Dexter the Hulk. Onward to killing. Die. Oh, a little, bit of, a little bit of a lag there. Probably from some weather I'm having. Probably. There we go. Two. That's today. That's today anyway. Three. I don't need to kill troubles. That just leads up to the room where I don't need to go, so let's go back. After we kill him again. I killed him twice, or not. I killed him once and he didn't count? Really? Oh yeah, random ch Well, I guess it's uncommon chance that happens, I guess. Unlike the last quest. Same issue. I guess I'll find out after this guy. Okay, maybe. Let's go back to another room then. Wiener. A 
I hope this isn't like the last quest where it takes stupidly long to find and to farm. Or not farm, but complete. And it may look that way. Okay. This may be another quest that I may have to do off camera if it exceeds 30 minutes. 30 or 40 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, just keep going from room to room, I guess. Oh, there we go. Plots. No, wait, I killed three marines. I need warriors. There's a warrior. Oh, I did not... I should have rested. I did this crap. Oh, this may go badly. Maybe. Ah, okay, wait, that was the right ability. Yes. Alright, one more. 
one more area. To slaughter. For our progression. For, for plot progression is a wonderful thing. There's three. Let's rest and then take on that alien. While we rest, let's take a sip of coffee. Ah, this is coffee. There we go. Missions all the way down. Alex says, You cut through the undead like a true space paladin. Which gives me an idea. Head to the next room. Okay, I'll head to the next room. Wait, what is in the next room? Missions. Restore life support. The best way, the best way we can, <laughs> yeah, the best way we can the evil undead is to restore life support. The automated healing systems will start healing the undead, which is about the meanest thing you can do to them, if you think about it. Battle the undead aliens to get five life support components. Okay. That is, you know what, that raises so many questions. Um, in video games, we're healing undead things hurts them. Why? Why would healing an undead creature, like a zombie or a skeleton, or in this case, um, according to the lore of WoW, undead priests, forsaken priests, actually, why would healing anything that is undead hurt them. Wouldn't it, it make more sense that like, healing something that is undead bring them back to a life they had before? I mean, it kind of makes more sense to me as opposed to healing magic hurting them. Like in uh, Final Fan, like in Final Fantasy, if you use a Phoenix, you well, I guess in Final Fantasy Tactics, if you use a Phoenix down on anything undead, it would instantly kill them. Why? It would kind of wouldn't it make it would make more sense if it brought, especially in Final Fantasy Tactics, using a Phoenix down bring the undead enemy to life and eventually joining your side or making them, if not joining your side, making them more vulnerable to types of attacks that they were resistant to while undead. I always, I, I always never understood that. one. Next room. Okay, last room. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Because this is, because it has been 30 minutes already. 30 or 20, or most likely 20, but 
I was saying this, ladies and gentlemen, is where we will end this video, this episode of Let's Play Adventure Plus Worlds Return of the Dead. Next video, we will find out, we will find out what has, what is the cause, what is the climax of the, of this space station. And after the end, at the end of that, we will pick up where we left off in the main story, The Thirteen Lords of Chaos. I am Dragon Exile. Thank you for joining me this morning, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, enjoy your coffee. Bye-bye!